Hey, Merry Meet YouTubers. Uh, I am really, really late with uh, this month's magic mailbox for January um, from Thank Goddess Creations. I was really sick. I had no voice uh, when I got this. And uh, a couple of you guys wanted to see the stuff in it anyway um, because obviously you want to know what you're getting. I still like just wanted everybody to know that I'm not getting like she's not paying me she's not asking me to she's not no affiliation aside from the fact that I'm buying the product and I love it um, it's really affordable uh, subscription box it's 20 I want to say it's $24 a month if you just buy it like you can buy it just one at a time or you can buy it uh, I buy this six month subscription now and, and that equals out to be $20 each. Um, this one was the first box of my six month subscription so I mean I'll have plenty more. Um, but it's not technically an unboxing, I'm just like I said I'm just showing you like what came with it. Um, as always there's a little like card that comes with it that lets you know the theme of this month's box is the witch's altar which I thought was pretty cool because there's a few things in here that despite the fact that I've been like a practicing witch for quite a while now um, I just didn't I, don't know, I just didn't own some of these things so I thought it was pretty cool uh, so we'll just go down the list and I will show you it uh, it says the first thing is the wheel of the year mini altar cloth um, the one that I got is this cute little cloth and it has uh, the inscription on it with the pentacle and the different holidays like there's uh, Ostra, Beltane, Midsummer. it's all on there. So I thought that was pretty cool. The one like really cool thing about this month uh, is somebody, I still don't know who if you're watching this video, thank you. Um, somebody surprised me and this month uh, I actually ended up getting two boxes. Um, I was going to, I was just straight ready to uh, save one for the unboxing and then when I got sick and everything I didn't end up doing it. Uh, so I opened it and I was giving it to my friend Jamie who you might end up seeing on this channel um, at some point. But uh, I have to decide now which like which he'd rather have or which I'd rather keep because this was the other altar cloth I got which if my camera is not picking it up that well this one is pink and purple purple being my favorite color this is probably the one I'm gonna keep uh, but they're super cute they're not super huge like you can see but they're they're really cute they're really pretty um, I enjoy them very much then um, Altar oil is the next thing, and there's there's a bottle of the altar oil, and what it says about that is uh, this decorative six millimeter bottle contains our specially blended altar oil for use to cleanse and consecrate your new altar items, which I have plenty of now. <laughs> um, it's in this bottle, and then there's like the little dabber that's separate when you take this off. I don't want to end up spilling it everywhere because I'm pretty clumsy. But yeah, there's the little dabber and you just uh, use it on your altar items. And it smells really good too. <laughs> if you remember last month, if you watched my video, like everything in the box smelled amazing. This this month really, this altar oil doesn't disappoint. Um, they included, she included a little card with it about the altar oil. Um, blended with essential oils of frankincense, lavender, sandalwood, and cedarwood in an apricot kernel oil base with myrrh resin and lavender buds added throughout and charged on our altar here at Inked Goddess Creations for a boost of extra positive energy. This oil can be used to consecrate altar items by simply dotting the oil onto the item, can be worn for protection during a spell or ritual, can be added to a pre-ritual cleansing bath, and so much more. 
Uh, and then there's the warning, please discontinue if skin irritation occurs. Um, let's see. Oh, I skipped over the, the coolest thing. Um, okay. It is an Onyx, Pure Onyx, uh, Ad, Atame. I hope I pronounced that right. I've actually never had one. This is amongst my I never hads. But look how cool this is, you guys. Like, it is Onyx. Let's see. How cool is that? I definitely will be using this. I don't know why I haven't had one in the past, but I just I just never have. And the second one, since I got that second box, is a different cutting of Onyx. So I actually uh, kind of considered, depending on whether or not my friend wants this, maybe using one for darker workings and one for lighter workings. Um, for when I start using it with my workings. I, since I never have, I don't know what I'll be using it for right now, but I will be using it. Uh, I've just never adapted that into any of my spellcraft or anything. Um, next on the list is glass candle holders, like your, your chime candle holders, which is pretty cool because I have a set of blue ones and I was just saying I really wish I had a couple more and with the second box, I have two now. <laughs> um, I don't think my friend needs them, so I'll probably just keep these, but I needed them, so I'm pretty happy. I, like, I seriously feel like most of this box was pretty much like her going, what could Heather use? Um, I know, obviously, that's not the case, but that it makes me feel that way. <laughs> like, it's pretty cool. Um, and then also to go hand in hand with that are some mini candles. Um, I can always use more candles. Can't hurt, right? <laughs> um, both boxes had black and white, so assumably that's what you'd get is, is black and white. Um, and then is a mini sage wand for cleansing. And with that is uh, the abalone shell. that I have also was about to pick up uh, one at one point and I decided to wait and I'm really glad that I did because there it is. Um, I don't know, let me see. She didn't add this on here but I definitely got it with each one but there is a couple of charcoal discs uh, which is cool. Can't always use charcoal discs so um, and they probably go hand in hand with this silver and gold resin. I don't know how well you can see it, but eat, they're like mixed up but individually colored, silver and gold. Um, and then the last thing that came with this box is a little goddess offering. Ooh, there it is. Isn't it cute? It's so little. Um, that was it for the box this month, but I have like a second, again, I got this like a couple days after the magic mailboxes, but I subscribed this month to the goddess box. Um, and I figured I would also share, since I can't really unbox it with you guys, what was in that. It comes with a card of this month's goddess, which if you can see it with my camera, is Bridget. It tells all about different things, uh, like it lets you know that she's the Celtic goddess of fire and inspiration, uh, also known as Bride, Bright, Brig. Uh, the, her energies uh, of inspiration, fire of light, healing, vitality. Her symbols, which is fire, hearths, healing, uh, corn dolls, etc. Um, it has her animals, lambs, ewes, and cows. Her oils and herbs of lavender, violet, wisteria, dandelion, snowdrops, chamomile, sage, and heather. Um, her gems are fire agate, carnelian, amethyst, and red jasper. Her colors are white, yellow, and red. And her day is in bulk, which is February 2nd. And then it goes on to talk about it on the other side, or talk about the goddess on the other side. 
um, included with this set was Bridget Goddess Mist, uh, distilled water, chamomile buds, essential oils, and yeah, it's in a little mister bottle. If you can see that, I mean, it's a pretty good size. It's like the length of my hand. It smells, it smells really, really like fresh and it just good. It smells good. <laughs> um, and then there is the Goddess Perfume, which actually the day that I got this, I was uh, wearing it around work and everybody was commenting on it. it smells so good. It's in a little roller bottle. Um, it's got a different smell than the mist, but it's still like just sweet, fresh. It smells really, really, really good. Um, and then you also get the votive candle for her, um, which is a blend of sage, chamomile, and lavender to gently inspire and awaken your inner fire. And last but not least, I put it away in a baggie, but you get a piece of fire agate, which I don't know if my camera will end up picking this up that well, but this has got like the prettiest crackle that the light just kind of bounces off of inside of there. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. It's, it's really beautiful. Um, this is my first piece of fire agate, so I'm kind of excited. It's really, really pretty. Um, I think that was it. That was everything in this, uh, these two boxes. And, uh, hopefully on the next ones, uh, I will actually unbox with you guys. Um, the theme she's already given out, uh, or leaked, and it is Amor. So, I mean, February, love, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for this time. I hope you guys liked it and um, if there's anything else that you want to see or if you want to hear a little more detail about any of this let me know and I would be happy to uh, write out more detail that I have maybe haven't read off the card or whatever. Um, Alright, thanks guys!